Tonight on the show, we've got a brilliant actress, my favorite comedian, and a fantastic rapper. What do you think of that? Seven! All right, well, look, we've also got the head judge from Strictly Come Dancing. It's a ten from Len. Let's start the show! <laughs> Christmas and I'm getting ready to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I tell you, lots of festive treats on the show tonight. Legendary actress Julie Walters is here. I know. My favorite comedian Miranda Hart is on the show. Woo! Head Strictly judge Len Goodman is here. And top British rap star Tiny Temper is joining us. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> Just what you need at Christmas. Someone who's good at rapping. <laughs> what, what's that? They, they want the Comedy Award back. <laughs> so looking forward to catching up with Julie. Uh, you know, we all loved her in Calendar Girls. And you think, what a gorgeous pose. No, that is beautiful because, no, it's not easy looking good sitting naked at a piano. <laughs> I especially like, especially like Julian Mamma Mia. Oh, oh, what a great story. Here's Meryl Streep running towards her old love, Pierce Brosnan, as he arrives on the island. And here she is a minute later when Pierce starts to sing. <laughs> hey, always like to welcome uh, Miranda Hart. Miranda, big star now. She knows all my guests. Uh, here's Miranda and Julie. Yeah, and uh, did I hear we have a picture of Miranda with Tiny? Did I? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miranda also has got a best-selling Christmas DVD out, teaching people how to exercise with maracas. <laughs> no, seriously, she does. That is true. <laughs> uh, mind you, not everyone looks great with a pair of maracas. Ooh. <laughs> Hairy biker. <laughs> <It's> like, ooh. <laughs> Hairy biker Dave Myers. Although the Norwegian version of Strictly has got someone even hairier. <laughs> Oh, it's Christmas. Don't you wish we could see that bear actually dancing? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some guests on! Today we'll be talking all things really with Len Goodman, but first, he's a big star. It's Tiny Tempo! <laughs> Hello, sir. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Oh, sit yourself down. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, they cheers. told me. Cheers, cheers, cheers. They told me to mind my head on the arch. <laughs> <laughs> I think they meant me. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miranda, because are you now you've met Julie before. We you met, met. We did a yeah. play together oh, for the mouse trap for a charity, oh. yeah. Just and, but now have you met you haven't met Tiny before? I haven't no. met Tiny, but I have been Tiny. I've been you before. Did you, you have? I, I was you. Wow, how did that work out? Uh, very, very well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I sang the rap bit uh, to the JLS song. Ah, Your rap bit to yes, JLS yes, song yes. for Sport Relief. Yeah. Eyes Wide Shot, yes. yes. Do you remember it? it? Literally like that. Do you remember it? Go. Yeah. Oh, can right. It? Do it, do it. Yeah, can we hear do you need, it? Do you need to hear it? Yeah, please, go on. I remember it. It's two years ago, I remember it really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get out of bed if I could rearrange the alphabet. It would go you, me, JLS, B, H, J, F, K, to L, A, X. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a match, mate. Got, it, got me looking forward to it like a Saturday. Uh-huh, tonight's bright. Got my Ray-Bans on and my eyes wide shut. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really difficult. Nice. I mean, was, obviously, I'm better when I'm on stage at the O2 yeah. and the moves, you know. No, next album, next album, next featuring album, I'm Miranda Horton. Oh, yeah. And the tour. Yeah, nice. Done deal. Let's Fantastic. do it. I had to rap in the Harry Hill film. I found Did it you? really hard to Did learn. Did you? Yeah. It's, well, that's why it's stuck in my head. It's Stop so it. hard to learn. It is. What's why are you, why are you pulling that face? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just laughing at that because I've, oh, I've only seen clips of the Harry Potter, but it does look very funny. Every clip makes me laugh a lot. We're seeing one later. Uh, what's your rap? Do you remember My rap, rap is about black boys. You give me fun, see and sun, hot dog in a bun, kiss me quick, a drink on a spit, a stick, a paddle and a picnic. If it... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Wow, amazing. Uh, Tiny, brilliant. you can go now. You're redundant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, can uh, you can learn. <laughs> Tiny, learn. Yeah. You can learn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have to talk about this. <laughs> now, uh, Miranda Hart. Miranda Hart is... Oh, you're all over our Christmas television. All oh, over our Christmas oh, television. Sorry. And on Christmas that. Day, yep. you've got the special of Call of... No, I was going to say Call of Duty. Midway. No, I was going to say Call of Duty. Call of, <laughs> <laughs> call of the Midwife. <laughs> Call of Midwife Duty. That'll be a bestseller. Next, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next year. That's, that's a yeah, special, that's a yeah. <laughs> so, um, call the midwife. Call the midwife. Now, I wish uh, I hadn't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing oh, to take You're in Call the Midwife. You've seen worse. Uh, uh, because, uh, so this is the Christmas special. Yes. Is it an hour or is it a bit longer? I think it's a bit longer. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a special special. Oh, good. I you love know, Call the Midwife. Mm, it's I brilliant. Do. Now, we don't want any spoilers, but in the Christmas episode, yes. does anyone have a baby? <laughs> I think somebody might give birth in the Christmas special. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, it's like the EastEnders episode, isn't it? You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Do you ever watch Call Midwife? No. No. <laughs> See, I love this. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I've I'm seen joking. It. He's joking. No, I love it. I love it. But no, but the weird thing, because Call Midwife, it has a certain sort of audience, so there must be people who only know you as chummy. Yeah, so a lot of people come up to me and uh, say that. They've said, oh, you're, Chummy's quite a funny character. Have you thought about doing comedy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! To which I Wonderful. sort of very politely respond and feel like going, will you buy the three series of my sitcom that's <laughs> taken me 15 years of hard work? <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it brings out the worst. You know, it's very sweet. Though. But at least they know who you are, because, Julie, you, you know, you're so famous, and yet... You do, you do get mixed up with people, haven't you? Have... Oh, yes. I've heard, I've heard, I was in a cafe only a couple of years back, and someone said, that's Julie Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> Just the name mixed up with it. But I, I, there is a bit of that mis mistaking thing. I was, I was in Marks and Spencers not very long ago, looking at the underwear, okay. like a girl does, and uh, checking it out, and just about three or four foot that way were two women, also looking friends, looking through underwear. Suddenly, there was the classic thing, they were chatting about it and suddenly there was a... Mm -mm. <laughs> they'd stopped and I just knew, you know, it's, it's a bit of whispering. And then they both... They, I could, it was as if I was, like, on television, as if, you know, I couldn't hear them. And then one of them said to the other, isn't that Julie Walters? <laughs> and the other one said... There was a big pause. And then the other one said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, not dressed like that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> and, uh, what can you say? <laughs> Honestly. Because uh, Tiny Ed Sheeran was saying in an interview <laughs> that you that you have a thing where if you take your glasses off, yes, that's it. Nobody knows. It's like the reverse. Really? Of, it's like the reverse of Clark Kent. It's so perfect. I've hit the nail on the head with this one. So basically, when I take my glasses off, yeah. ooh, 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 I could be I could be any any. Actually, person. You do know. look incredibly different. Exactly. And then. When I put the glasses yeah. on, they say <gasps> I look... Tiny temper. Or the guy from the Halifax advert. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happens all the time. It's, it's oh, either Tiny no. or the guy from the Halifax advert. I'm loving like him. Tiny Tiny temper. Temper. Hey. Yeah, it was a match it's made. I'm looking forward to it. Like you do look... No, you look like someone. I'm not sure. Who do you look like? Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The hair extension. You had a little scar on your head. Yeah. yeah. Very like. Yeah. It looks amazing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Can you see now? No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Big art. Oh, nice. 
Thanks yeah. for that. Because at the moment, I've got a nobody on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> a tiny temperament. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, 2014, very exciting uh, year for comedy because... And this is a big... Miranda Hart. Yes. You're going on tour. You're... you're yes. I was going to say returning to your stand-up, but you've done sketches and shows, but this is the first proper big stand-up tour you've done. Yeah, I was beginning to do stand-up about sort of seven, eight years ago, but then the telly side took over. So, yeah, this will be sort of big return stand-up. And it's 28th of February to the 18th of October, yeah. all over the UK. Your website has the details. And, I mean, this is... Like, you're doing... Like, the, you're doing massive arenas and things. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Because it must be... Do I mean, are you OK? Are you cool? Yeah, I'm totally in denial. But <laughs> <laughs> I've written a show and I've got it ready and I've rehearsed it. And, but, yeah, you can't prepare for that scale. And it's crazy that comedians can, can do these gigs at the moment. I just thought I'd just regret it massively if I didn't do it. And it'll be quite an experience and it'll be... I, I hope I'll enjoy it. I'm excited as well. Because the thing is, your fan base, you know, is quite young. You have a lot of teenage... Fans. Yeah, it's a real mix, but yeah, th there are a lot of teenage. It's something I wasn't expecting when I wrote the sitcom. You don't write with an agenda, and I didn't expect teenagers. I mean, and very young, sort of eight, nine as well. So you're down with uh, the kids? Can you speak uh, to the kids? I, and then, so yeah, so it's confusing because I'm sort of 40 and gallop about, and then suddenly <laughs> I've got this youth base. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like trying to get like well with it and stuff. That was good. <laughs> yeah. That's quite good. That was good. But um, I'm just so... I've always been old before my time. And uh, the whole music thing, um, I thought at one point when someone was talking about Kanye West, that they were talking about a tube stop. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is, this is what we're... <laughs> You're this not allowed to say things like that. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. And, <laughs> so what, I do, what your youth base think of I know. you? <laughs> but I do do a bit of stuff in that on the tour, but what it's like to suddenly, you know, try and communicate. Because I don't know many teenagers. My nieces and nephews are younger, my godchildren are younger, so I don't know that age. Mm. And the way, I'm going to sound like my mum now, but the way they talk is they don't use words anymore. No, it's a whole <laughs> No. So it's acronyms. Which yeah. is confusing. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, very. I had some lovely teenagers come see me after my last gig and they taught me some of these things and they said one of them is, which I, was new to me, I am sounding so old. No, you're not. Which is CBA. That's can't be asked. I didn't know that. <laughs> but you can't just say CBA, you go Seebs. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. CBA is too long. <laughs> so, I've never heard that. Do you no. want to go to the shop and get me oh, a drink, Seebs? No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use that now. Yeah. There's, one, there's one that was like super popular, like over the past like year and a half or two years, and it was YOLO. What's that? You only live once. Oh, so YOLO. whenever someone was about to do something really stupid, more often than not, they just, just be like go. YOLO and just do it. <laughs> but I like the idea of reclaiming these things. This is my plan, you see. Oh yes. So the LMAO. Do you know that one? No, I don't know any of these. Okay. <laughs> LMAO is laughing my ass off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's start reclaiming it in sort of, you know, old. So that should be, say, locks my artichokes off. <laughs> you know, just to, yes, you'll yeah, find reclaim the time them, you just annoy them. Or ruffle. Do you know ruffle? No. Rolling on the floor, Small laughing. laughing. Yeah. I, I don't, rush off to Fortnum's and Liberties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <Just> reclaim <laughs> them. Super middle class. Yeah, we like the middle class Rush old off versions. Off and liberties. So yeah. what about what about WTF? Um, <laughs> so, what's that? Do you oh. not know that one? Oh, what the? F yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a word, a word that uh, the youngsters have given us, and very popular this year, was uh, selfies. It's in the dictionary yes. now and, and all it's that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's in the dictionary, yeah. selfies, it's isn't it? Added, yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, Tiny's yeah, all over I it. it. Yeah. yeah, over to my youth correspondent, Tiny Temple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, now, selfies, presumably you all have suffered at the hands of selfies. Mm. Do you get people... Yeah, from fans. Yes, and, and usually they're slightly behind you and there's my great big white face at the front. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. And you're a bit tall for a selfie. <laughs> no. <laughs> because if, if, you know... No, I spent my... Uh, honestly, this is me. Have, do you, can I have a selfie? Yes. Good <laughs> <laughs> no, quads now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, bending. You, presumably, you, you never do... You have people to do your selfies. No, well, I mean, no. when fans ask me to take selfies, I take selfies, but I've never personally 
taking my own one. No. I think it's a bit weird. I think it's oh, wrong. Oh, yes. But I think, Why I, do people... T I think that's quite weird. But uh, what culturally has happened, I'm intrigued, because technology has happened, but if so... So I am a massive fan of yours, and, but, you know, younger, you were massive inspiration. If I'd seen <laughs> you in the street, I would have been just beside myself with excitement. Really? Oh, my goodness! Oh. Julie, what, do you not know who you are? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, by the way. So, anyway, oh. but I, what I never would have done is, is oh, hi, Julie Walters. Do you mind? It's basically the equivalent of me now going, do you mind if I just sit? <laughs> <laughs> This has been the best show ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you're familiar with the internet, Julie? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm familiar with the internet. Well, uh, on the internet, we've had these examples of selfies, uh, just kind of ill-timed selfies. Right. So, for oh, instance, yeah. uh, here's two very pretty young girls. They're having a nice time at home, and they go, oh, let's just take a selfie. This will be nice. But they missed something key when they were taking the selfie. Oh. <laughs> 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 now, uh, you know you could be uh, photobombed. Yeah. What's that? Photobombed. So it's when someone... A photo, someone comes behind you and goes, Bleh. Oh, right. Like that. Yeah. These two girls have been uh, photobombed. <laughs> <laughs> There's this weird thing where people kind of they find these occasions where they're like, oh, this will be a good time to take a selfie, okay? This boy thought it was a good time to take a selfie with people trapped in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look how happy he looks! <laughs> yeah. You can see, look at the faces in there. <laughs> Going, help! Help! He's like. Now, you guys were talking about how you find it annoying when people want to take a selfie with you. So, this is a lady, she's taken a nice selfie with a camel. Okay? Oh. We're guessing the camel was annoyed because this is what happened next. <laughs> well done, all the selfies. Very good. Julie Walters, Julie Walters, uh, Harry Hill was here a few weeks telling us about his movie. He was. And now you play his nan in Harry Hill the movie. Yes. Uh, which is open everywhere tonight. Yes. Now, how did you end up in a Harry Hill the movie? Well, I was asked to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. No, yes, um, yeah, no, well, he, uh, my agent rang up and said, do you like Harry Hill? I said, oh, yeah, I love him. And he said, well, there's a he's, he's going to do a film. And I said, oh, I'd love to do something with him. Anyway, so then they sent me the script and it made me really made me laugh. And I said, yeah. But now, is it true that you think more about... You, when you're considering a job, mm. you focus more on kind of who's in it, who you'll be working with, rather than what it is? No, I focus on the money. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> No, not really, no, that's it. Now, listen, Harry Hill, God love him, he tried to tell us the story of the film. Yes. Good luck, can you do any better? OK. <laughs> well, it, it's a road movie, you see? Good. But, but it is a Harry Hill road movie. It's quite a bit complicated. OK, OK, now. So, I play his nan... Which too young, a... too young. Yes, I'd have to be about 103 <laughs> in order to be her. And we go on this trip to Blackpool with our hamster, Abu... <laughs> Anyone get that joke? Yeah. Abu Hamster. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I didn't, didn't, because the film had finished when I got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, so, is it Abu? Yeah, we, because, because we think he's going to die. He's not well. Anyway, so we go on this trip to Blackpool, because that's what his last wish is, but we are pursued by Harry's evil twin brother, Otto Hill, played by Matt Lucas. And he has a vendetta out against Harry, is that the right phrase? Anyway, yes, he, yeah. yes he's really uh, very, very embittered. Because I brought Harry up, but Otto was brought up by a family of Alsatians just outside Kettering. <laughs> <laughs> so, it wasn't a happy time. <laughs> you see? Of course, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's it, really. <laughs> and now, now, we've got a clip, but I think it does, it does need some explaining. Do you know the... Oh, no, I don't know. What's the clip? It's oh, the God. Dachshund 5. The Dachshund 5, which is... The Dachshund 5 is a, is a, is a Jackson 5 tribute band. <laughs> Only they are Dachshunds. Do you see? In, in wigs. Yeah. 
in it. And, and we go to see them. And you go to see them and you're showing off. You, you're an enormous fan. I'm an enormous fan of them. Yes. Actually, you have to remind me. Yes, then yes. what happened? Uh, that, <laughs> yeah. that, 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 I think that'll get us there. Okay, That'll come on, get now. us there. Here we go. Great seat. A novelty T-shirt, a cushion for you, Abu. And Harry, I got you a hat. And this stacks a five after show. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wet dog. Hmm. Nothing for yourself, Nan. Oh yeah. And this done. Oh, that's a bit hardcore. Dear God. Wait till you see the one I had done there. It's starting. Which one's Michael Dax? Second from the end. Oh, that's Jermaine. Is it? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> What is it? Every time I see makes me really laugh. I love those dogs. I know, they're brilliant. <laughs> and uh, the Harry Hill movie, it is out now at a cinema near you. There yes. you go. Yes. I'll know if you haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, Julie, obviously, star of Sage Green, but we nearly lost Julie Walters to the, to the caring profession. Oh, the caring profession. Yes, you did. Yeah. Now, were you a fully qualified nurse? No. Oh, you were... <laughs> were you well? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, over to Miranda. Yes. <laughs> She's fully qualified. She has a bike. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what, you were a nursing assistant? No, I was a trainee. I was oh, a student nurse. But you, you never qualified? No, I didn't. Because I feel you were distracted from your nursing, were you not? I beg your pardon? You were distracted from your nursing. Uh, was I? Well, didn't you, didn't you discover the joys no. of romance? I did. Well, I discovered them. First of all, I discovered them on the ward. Because I just fell in love with so many patients. Well, not with so many, a couple of them. I really... Nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> but the first men's ward that I went on, my sister gave me a huge talk before we went on, she said, now... She was Irish. She said, now, if you see any movement in the pyjama region... <laughs> she said, you simply get out your biro and give it a good snap! <laughs> and that will put a stop to it. <laughs> well, I can't tell you how many relationships that's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> but Grant knows where he stands. <laughs> but in terms so of sex education, Miranda at school, your school, mm. the sex education was bizarre. Well, no, we just... There was no sex I had to speak of at all. In fact, there was a video which I do in my tour. So you'll have to come along and see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's available. <laughs> so uh, we kind of lived off rumours. So just these rumours would just get spread, you know. At 11, you'd get... You would get pregnant if you sit on a rugby ball that a boy's just sat on. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I think. And there was one that, yeah. someone, <laughs> there was one that someone spread that if you jump into a river holding hands with somebody on May Day, it means you're legally married in Sussex. English people can't get pregnant in Germany. That was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Quite specific. Yeah, we were, we, yeah, sexually repressed. <laughs> I've yet to come into my sexual peak, is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> in terms of getting advice, Tiny Temper has had advice from the master. Didn't Lionel Richie give you advice? Y yeah, one time when, when I was in L.A. Yeah. What so, no, actually, he was coming out of Soho House and I was going in. So I was like, oh, good to see you. How you doing, man? He said, ah, oh, can I give you one word of advice? And I was like, yes. He goes, never get married. And then he just walked out and he left and that was it. <laughs> Crazy. Because so I'm going to try and live by that. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no, you're not. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, but Lionel's been on the show and he's talked about how he uses his own music no. to woo the ladies. Oh. Yes. Tiny? It's happened by accident. <laughs> One time. Because of bloody shuffle. Why did they have to invent shuffle? Shuffle? Uh, what's Yeah, that? you know when it's playing on, on your um, computer and it just plays randomly? Oh, Random music. No. So, no. <laughs> Never do it, Julie. It's very dangerous. Yeah, so one, yeah. of my, one of my really kind of like old underground songs called Wifey came on while I was in the in the act, and it was just super awkward. I was trying. I to like that mime. That was... in the act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like... I was... The act of what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was... This would be better sex ed for me, by the way. <laughs> Would have been clearer. <laughs> I was trying to reach over and switch it off, and that was making things worse, and so I just left it, left it on. But did it work? You I mean, did, it didn't put her off. off did, did it put her off? Um, no, it never. She actually liked it, but I think I get really awkward when things. Like if I'm 
with you or with you or with you. What, sexually? And... No, no, no. <laughs> OK, whatever well, if you want. We've both been there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 and I come on, and I come on on the telly or I'm on the radio. I get yeah. really weird. Does that not happen to any of you guys? Get weird. Yeah, like if if you're with someone and then yeah. you know something you've done on the oh, telly no, comes yeah, on. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, no, it's a no, bit it's awkward, horrible. isn't it? Yeah. So. <laughs> but like, yeah. for, imagine, imagine you're in the act, whatever that is. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's what he does. It's in the act. You're yeah. in the act, <laughs> and uh, with Tiny, Tiny's doing this act. He's doing that. <laughs> I think it's a vent act. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like a vet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which is great this morning. <laughs> oh, Tiny, you've told us so much tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> so, imagine you're doing the act and, yeah, and, this, and, th and this came on. This chick is my baby girl. This is it, isn't it? This is wifey. This is wifey. <laughs> it's working. It's working. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Get a room. Get a room. Oh, oh. What happened? What happened? What was that? Oh, what was that? I think I don't know. <laughs> Tiny was doing the act. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Calm down, you. Calm down, because it is time to bring on uh, my next guest. This weekend, the nation <gasps> will stop to find out who's going to be crowned winner of Strictly Come Dancing 2013. Please welcome the head judge himself. Len Goodman is here! <laughs> Been standing round there for. Oh, <laughs> God. Well, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Hey, no, how are you? I'm feeling good. Excellent. Oh, well, you are in a very happy summer because these two ladies no. I know love you. Well, you love, love, you. love it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to touch him as well. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, take a piece. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Is that tiny? Do you watch the Strictly? I know the ladies no, not do. Not as much. I watched the first time, the first one, but yeah. never. You never again. Never yeah. again. <laughs> I was the same. I listened to your first track. I've never. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you. Now. I'm going to tell you. Actually, you say that you're a fan of rap music, aren't you? Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah. My name's Wonder Mike, and I want to... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all rap. I love it. Yeah, Every, everyone's rap so far, apart from Danny Temper. <laughs> 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 okay, there you are. Yeah, you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cheating there. You've got a backing track and everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, this is a, a big... This is the year of the woman. An all-female final, Four. never before. Never happened before. Now, why has it happened this year? I do not know. It's just one of those things... You know, normally, you, you always get a, some men on, because... I always felt it was women that voted, and if it was a, you know, perhaps they weren't that sort of bulked up and this and that. I don't know, <laughs> but you know, the, the, for some reason. But I think it's exciting. We've got it's a sort of a more of a level playing field. You've well, got they're all four brilliant. Ladies, they are all celebrities, brilliant. Yeah. four pro guys, and then see what happens. Yeah. What would you do, Lemma, if if it was Natalie and Abby? And you and there was a dance off. How would you? Pick? Well, Good question. How would you? Well, know? the thing is, when it's a dance off, you mustn't think about what's been in the past. Or yes, your expectations, yeah. what they could do in the future. You just look at each dance. And, and you know, yeah. you have to just make a decision. Yeah, hard and one. It's hard. hard. I don't... Well, I did it once and uh, with... It was terrible. It was Rod Stewart's wife. Uh, oh, yeah. Her. Penny. Her. Uh, Penny. 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 Yes. <laughs> and Gabby Logan. And they yes. both shouldn't have been oh, in the yeah. dance-off. And we had to pick one. They were both terrific. And there was loads of... And Whitticums or whatever, you know, still, still all got through. Right. Things like that. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's what I find weird about Strictly, is you tend to remember John Sargent, yeah. and yeah. Whitticum, Russell Grant. You know, you... Yeah. Now, if, if you said to me, who won it the year Anne Whitticum was on, I, I couldn't tell you, really, unless yeah. I... Wow! I, 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 I can't I remember, know. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, who was no. that? But you remember her. 
So, wow. yeah. It's strange, you seem to remember the bizarre ones. Mm. Someone watching at home has just poured themselves a big glass of wine now to chew themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn said he was my favourite! <laughs> What is it? It's on uh, Saturday and Sunday. <gasps> and... No. Oh, it's all happening on Saturday? It's all live on Saturday oh, night. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm no. so happy it's to see you. It's all about the, well, the oh, May the best lady win, and uh, I'm so looking forward to seeing you. So am I. Yes. And, uh, uh, now, you're also all over the television because you've, there's Len Goodman's Dance Band Days on BBC Four, and then Boxing Day, BBC One, Len Goodman's Perfect Christmas. Ooh. That's right, my perfect Christmas. So what is your perfect Christmas? Very little. Oh, we, really? We just... My mum, my mum's still alive. She's 96. She'll be in. Oh. Uh, my wife Sue's. Her mum and dad'll be in. My son has gone off to the girlfriends, for, uh -huh. so he'll be in on Boxing Day. And yeah, we just. But it's bizarre, you know. You get up at 10 and you have a glass of sherry and every. You know, <laughs> yeah. Laundry comes out of the window, doesn't it? And then you think, oh, I'll have a great big breakfast, and then, oh, I think I'll have half a dozen satsumas now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so it's all cranky, so... <laughs> yes. Because now, but you know, there's no grandkids yet. I, I'm fuming with him. <laughs> See, he's been with this girl for quite a while, Sophie. Oh, the, oh, God, lovely, yeah. good, lovely good, Sophie. Good, good got the name. James yeah. and Sophie. <laughs> I keep on... See, I was brought up more or less. I had my mum and dad, but my granddad, I was always with my granddad. And he sort of taught me values. Yeah. You know, he was a greengrocer. I remember once he got six tonne of potatoes <laughs> from the market. Six tonne. And we had a yard and a stable thing. The horse had gone. So, And I said, but granddad, why have you got all these potatoes? He said, Lenny, he said, they're cheap. And never forget, your money's like your willy. It only grows if you play with it. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me the proper values in life. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to do the same for my grandchildren. <laughs> that could be and why they're not get having on grandchildren. With it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> get it in there. And when it comes to when it comes to parties and things, no. then do you dance? Do you get up and dance? I rarely go to parties anymore. If, if I have to go to a wedding or something like that, I never dance, and I'll tell you why. If I get up and think, oh, come on, we'll have this nice little as your father, I'm dancing like... And I know people say, cool, he ain't much good, look at him. <laughs> so, then if I think, well, I'll just do it a little bit... Look at him showing off. <laughs> so, and then up comes the men. There's not the women, the men... Would you do a dance with my wife? Oh. Right? So, and if you say OK, then the floodgates open. And uh, yeah. uh, you, you never sit down anymore because you've done it with her, so you have to, and it goes on and on. <laughs> so I just have to sit there. Because, Miranda, we know yes. you love to dance. Well, I love the notion of dancing. In, in my. In my head, I'm I'm a dancer. But does it make dancing difficult, the height thing? Yes, it did. when I turned 40, I decided to let go of that and just be free on the dance floor. But before that, I've had my awkward moments, and I remember once where the sort of dancing with somebody thing and sitting next to a guy and getting on really well with him, going great, but we didn't... We didn't notice each other sitting down and how tall we were. When we stood up, it literally went like that. He was honestly there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I sort of went onto the dance floor and I was like this. Hey, <laughs> come here. <on. laughs> and then people called it the number two move. <laughs> no, I've been bump and grind. Yeah, bump and grind. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but have you encountered this, the taller woman, shorter man? Problem. Oh, yes, is there, of is, there, is there a solution? Are there moves you can teach Miranda? Miranda and I would be a perfect couple because we're both tall and elegant. <laughs> She's got a natural rhythm. I just saw the gyration yeah. there in her hip. <laughs> yes. She has got that naturally, and uh, were she of, uh, to avail herself, she could dance right now. Could you, could you show her a couple of moves? Because it'd be good. Yeah. 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 Can you show her a couple of moves? This area here, yeah. this area here, this is our, our Christmas dance area. This is nice. OK, right. Mr Goodman, Miss Hart to the floor. Are you jealous of me right now? <laughs> now, we're going to do... Uh, yes. Salsa's easy. It's three steps. Sure. Left foot. Left, left foot. Forward. By the way, do you like my shoes? They're good. <laughs> They're good. They're good. They are okay. good, sparkly. Yeah. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Now go back on your right foot. Yeah. One. One. Two, three. three. Now we go again. 
Bing, bang, bong. I'm bringing in a hip, I don't care bing, what you say. Bing, bang, bong. <laughs> that's, ba, ba. that's really good. It's really good. Ba, ba. Now we get a bit of rhythm. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ho! Oh, have you seen my conkers? <laughs> my lovely big brown conkers. <laughs> They're on the tree. <laughs> They're big <laughs> as cats. Now, stay there. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ba, 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 yes. ba. Yeah. Go on, work that girl. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Gorgeous, well, gorgeous, gorgeous. You, you gorgeous. Uh, now, oh. talking of, of the music, uh, we're going to have some music. Uh, yes. This is uh, the single that's coming out it's in... the third single. It's coming out in February. In February, yep. off uh, the, the album. The new album, Demonstration, yes. Which is out now. It's out you now. You can get that yes. now. Of course you Yeah, can. that is yes. available now. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be performing this on my tour, which is in April. Oh! oh. It's after you. After mine. Yeah. Oh! Wow. So tickets are on sale now. Now! Yeah. Okay, I get it. I see why yeah. you're here. <laughs> Backing dancers. Backing Let's dancers. do it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, Definitely. The, the track is You're a Lover, Not a Fighter. It's called Lover, Not a Fighter, and it features Labyrinth, yeah? Oh, yes. yes. And actually, the album features loads of people. The album features loads of people from uh, Emily Sande, we have on there, oh, Dizzy Rascal, Lauren Vula. We have uh, Two Chains. We have Big Sean, who are two American rappers. Um, we have Paloma Faith on there. Oh. Yeah, loads of people. Nice people. Yeah, it's a big event. Yeah, Very yeah, big yeah, event. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so we're looking forward yeah. to uh, the tour. I'm looking forward to this. So if you want to go uh, and go and join Yeah, of course. And, and, and Absolutely. Get, and get ready, Mr. Oh, Tiny Gepper. Right. Come on. Uh, Chair, but first, featuring Labyrinth and performing Love and Not a Fighter, it is Tiny Tempo! <laughs> Leave a message after the beep. Hello? Let's get out! Yeah. Stand up! Okay, okay, Come okay! On. Yeah! Go. Grab something! Trying to jump up! Yeah. Somebody feeling the gap, somebody feeling the drop. I feel like who else to build the way I be still in the spot. When all the shot is down, man, we be still in the shop. I shop for clothes when it's closed, that's why I feel like the fuck. I'm a bit itchy, but it works. That's why I feel like the hot. When gonna wait for no winter tune not to give me the drop. Critics giving me, that's why I give them a crutch. Have to get into nosy, that's why I give them a stop. Cause Come I on. just triple my cost of living. Fix I'm a love for chicken, it's made in my buffy kitchen by Rosa of a cost of willing. Come from the stir in London, the city. Your foster children, pray for what God has given. Save us from constant sin in the city of God. I'm from the city of God. I've been up in the shot, I've really been at the top. So I'm the man from the man and find out who's real and who's not. I'm scared of heat, then get out the kitchen and give me the pot. You know what? I'm alive and not a fighter. Woo! So I kiss that girl and say goodbye now. Cause I came for kicks, yeah. not for arguments, no, oh, oh, oh. Cause I'm alive and not yeah. just fighter. Let's go. I used to sit on a set to eat till the tin of spaghetti. Now Come women on. think that I'm sexy because I've been on the telly. Cry like that, but no seven, the man has been in Pavelli. Somewhere they go, they can have my rock, call them Miss Mommy Penny. Is it really so fake? Somebody give me the break. I grew up from in a way, and I grew up in an estate. These rappers calling me brave, and they can't even relate. Are they even ready or willing to do anything that ain't it? Up I said, my teacher from college, she said she thinks that I'm great. I'm finna give her the D, cause she never give me a name. She's trying to get in my jeans. I'm trying to kick off my J's, take off my D and G's and give her my DNA. Cause who these be loving me? 
Sipping my bubbly, watching hangover, hungover Be the quickest recovery, recovery. Couple bad grades, I didn't issue my study leave And I see what's my name and a kiss on the double T's And I love it I've got too much love to burn, baby Woo! Ain't got no time to exchange words, baby Things to do to do people to see yeah. Yes I guess we all gotta play it again Yeah now Say. I'm alive and not to fight her I'm alive and not a fright uh. So I kiss that girl and say goodbye now Grab no hands I came for kicks yeah. Never for arguments No oh, oh, oh. Hello? Tony Jasper, and a big day to as well. Thank you, Labyrinth. Well done, sir. Great job. Don't you try to get it? Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. We loved it. We loved Thank it. You so much. Nice jumping around, Len. Yes, Len, what, what would you say to that performance? Uh, it was uh, almost a foxtrot if you did just slow <laughs> down a fraction. No, it was good. It's rhythmic and plenty yeah. going on. So what's, we try, yeah, we try. Thank lovely. you, Len. Thank yeah. you. That oh, was really good. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ben liked it. See? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, people think I'm an old faddy daddy, but, oh, you know, I'm with it a bit. Maybe and I'm. Man. Yeah. 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 And the <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, this time for a story of in the red chair, but who's there? Okay, hi. 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 High hopes for you. What's your name? Debbie. Debbie. Lovely. And where do you live, Debbie? Leatherhead. Leatherhead. What a what a what a, well anyway. <laughs> Where's Leatherhead? Sorry. 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 Oh, sorry. It's in Surrey. Oh, yeah. It's in Surrey, yeah. Julie. I know. It's You're in Surrey. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, Debbie. Uh, what do you do in Leatherhead, Debbie? Um, I work in accounts. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. I like the look of Debbie. Okay. I like the look okay. of Debbie. All right. And okay. she, she's got trapped in account. She never intended to stay there. Right. Uh, she's still dreaming of getting out of there. Okay. And her private life could probably be very interesting. That's she true. Yes. 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 She just does that for money. Yeah. But yes. then, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it come five o'clock. Woohoo! Oh, it's a world. Oh, I tell you, Leatherhead. Mm, by name. <laughs> <laughs> The seedy Ooh. side of Leatherhead. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Debbie, we forgot about you. <laughs> uh, so, off you go with your story. OK. Um, I used to be quite overweight. I was about 14 stone. And um, I had a boyfriend who was um, lovely, and he invited me round his house. Went round the house, and um, his parents were... They were eating their dinner. He was eating his dinner with the parents. So he, um, they said, go and sit in the, um, in the lounge and wait. For him to finish his dinner. Lovely lounge, fluffy cushions everywhere, knickknacks, it was Christmas, looked gorgeous. Sat on a sofa on one of the furry cushions, heard a cracking noise, got up, I'd sat on the cat and broke its back and it was dead. Oh my god! No! 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 Oh, no. That's not an anecdote! Oh, no. That's a confession! Uh, if you'd like to join us on the show and have a go on the page, hey, you can just watch that on our website and for this available address. And thank you to my guest, Tony Temper, everybody! Miranda Hart, ladies and gentlemen! Jeff Beasy, Jeff Beasy, Julie Walters! And Mr. Len Goodman! Hey! It's Christmas! And no show next week for you join me on New Year's for a bumper show with uh, funny man Frank Skinner, sister act Joan and Jackie Collins, super crooner Michael Buble, the entire Anchorman cast, and reunited at last, the stars of Monty Python. Until then, a very Merry Christmas. Goodbye, everybody.